the Lead Disability Festival uh, 2015. We've got it here at Heading the Carnegie Stadium, no better place. Um, we've got 21 teams all in all, uh, 10 from adult and 11 junior teams. Uh, they're all taking part in a little bit of like tag rugby and that sort of stuff. Uh, schools are eligible, uh, or small organisations such as like adult youth clubs and stuff like that. Um, we've got some of the silks that are here as well. Those are ones we, we've, doing, we've been doing a little bit of coaching with, with uh, St James's Place funding. We've been doing the silks across Leeds, uh, upskilling the people to participate. Uh, it's one of our biggest events in our calendar. It's a prime example of club, community, uh, organisations all coming together on, on a great day to enjoy uh, what is a, essentially a tag rugby festival. Uh, this is a mass participation event and that's what the whole aim of the, the event is. Get everybody playing, lots of people having smiles on their faces, everybody running with the ball, scoring some tries. and basically everybody being involved because we've also got a few keen leader I know's fans playing amongst us so that would be nice for them to meet him uh, we've also got Ronnie Rhino coming I'm sure he'll have an equal impression on him but yeah it's, it's great it's great to get the players along and see how they can integrate yeah, I'm really pleased to be in here I think um, sport in general it just covers most most things and everyone everyone just gets a good time out of it and it's just a, it's a privilege to be here I think everyone everyone enjoys rugby league so I think like I say I'm just watching him now and they're, they're just all excited to be here and to be involved in a team sport. It's re it's really good for them. I think I'm doing a bit of refereeing and just uh, maybe playing on one of the sides. So I'm not too sure yet. I'm going to get myself involved later on, but I'm excited for it. Uh, we've just been helping out in general, really. We've been doing a bit of refereeing. We've been doing um, like putting the tags back on, just helping, trying to get them, trying to get them to grips with the game, really. Because you can see there's a few that have never played before and just letting them. Just letting them enjoy themselves, really. Yeah, it's really good. I didn't think there'd be this big a turnout, to be honest. There's loads of teams, and they all just seem really keen for it. So it's good to just, especially on Edinley as well. Not a lot of people get a chance to come play on Edinley, so that, they all seem to be absolutely loving it. Like, um, it just shows that any age, any how good you are, it doesn't really matter. You can get involved at a certain level, and as long as you're enjoying it, you can play, and then just can carry on doing it. Popularity. I'm enjoying movie tournament. I, I was my team putting them back together and get on the way and get minutes. I thought it was desperate. On my team coach, that's Julie Robert. Adrian James O'Brien, that's my name. And we're doing the uh, best team and we are winning this week. Playing. Tag rugby. And who's your team? Middleton Rhinos. And how have you enjoyed it here at Heading Fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's worth coming again. <laughs> I've been playing a bit of rugby. Oh. That's fantastic. Oh, yeah. It's fantastic out here as well. Uh, through St James's Place uh, sponsorship, we've been able to do some coaching in the silks, the four silks in Leeds, the north, south, east, and west. Uh, and today we've actually signposted teams from all those silks to this festival. So that's been the, the, the pre-stuff really leading up to the festival. And it, as I said, it's only been a, able to be uh, happen through, through the sponsorship of St James' Place. Uh, we've had Chris and Adam, they've been co uh, from the foundation, the, the development officers, in coaching in there. I've been doing some work with the foundation entry at, at Leeds City College as well. Uh, and it's all building up to, to this day. As you can hear behind us, we're doing the presentation, the Leeds Rhinos players are here, uh, and, and we're going to go back into the silks, and we're going to be doing some more coaching, uh, all, all to do with St James's Place. Again, I know I keep mentioning it, but it's been fantastic sponsorship. Thank you very much. So because of our coaching in the silks now, we're spreading the word, so there's going to be more and more activities. We're hoping to do an inter-silk competition for rugby to carry this on, so it won't be just waiting for another year to come by. We're going to do a lot more delivery uh, on, on, in the silks uh, of rugby, tag rugby, and, and other sports, mixed sports as well. Um, today, um, I'll be playing for rugby. Um, this is the last game. Mitchell, you can't pass it. Mitchell, you go. You can't pass it. You know, Mitchell, go straight. You can win. So yeah, take the things off for of, like Legos. And if you do, you're not going to win. So I, I didn't get no my friend fell off. So we had fun. I scored six goals, I think. And I never give up. More you try, more you can do it. So yeah.